A while back, I talked about my favorite chips and carpets in MLB, and that was really fun. Shipping is such an interesting thing to do, analyzing character dynamics and looking who pairs well with who. And now, filled with suggestions from you guys, let's talk about more great chips. One disclaimer still, keep the comments civil, I won't hesitate to remove toxic comments, because at the end of the day, shipping is opinion based, and you can do anything you want as long as it's legal. I focused on main series ships so far in the last video, but each of these characters has an Equest to a God's counterpart, and these are very different and interact differently. That's why I have other ships for them. While I go with Apple Dash for Friendship is Magic, both of the involved characters have a better fitting partner in EQG in my opinion. Applejack has Rarity and Rainbow Dash has Sluttershy. Both of these are in focus especially in Roller Coaster of Friendship, the second Equest to a God special. For Rary Jack it's very obvious. The entire special is built around Applejack getting jealous because her girlfriend spends time with someone else. Vignette. They even wanted to get a job together, even holding hands when opening the mail they got about the jobs. They send each other bedroom eyes so often throughout it, and Applejack is acting like a jealous lover for sure. And not even making that up. The writers confirmed that they ship Rary Jack and have written the special that way. A little less confirmed is Flutter Dash, but they interact a lot in the same special. Mostly through Rainbow Dash wanting to ride a roller coaster and getting Fluttershy on it with her. Fluttershy reassures her when she needs it. Of course it could all be an act of friendship, and at that point, it is. But it makes Rainbow Dash blush in a way indicating a more than platonic appreciation. At least it seems that way to me. One that was suggested a few times is Forex and Amber. And I totally agree that they vibe with each other. Two different kinds of leaders, who can learn from each other. That is mostly based on Triple Threat, which I admit is not the best episode. Especially with how Twilight basically doesn't want to help with Spike's friendship problem. Though that's fair, seeing as how he caused that problem. But never mind that. These two would make a power couple. Amber helps Forex to get a bit tougher and become a stronger leader, while Forex could teach her empathy. Currently, she only leads with strength, but there is more to leading than that. Both of them have room to grow, and could help each other to reach their full potential. Another requested one was Sauron Dash. I personally see Sauron more with Spitfire, but his tenacity and hardworking mindset makes him fit well with Dashi too. There was an entire comic in the Friends Forever series just exploring their character dynamic and motivation. And I gotta say, as partners they could push each other over and over and reach previously unknown speeds and heights. There are a lot of fanfictions that explore this ship. I'm not much of a fanfiction person, but even I have listened to Word of Discord, where they explored that ship. And not gonna lie, their dynamic is fun. And they would definitely raise some talented kids, even if I'd fear that they'd push them too much. Especially Dashi. I need some Gen 5 representation here too. So let's talk about the unfolding drama in G5. Some people like Pip and Hitch, some people like Zip and Hitch. As the only male main character, Hitch gets shipped with basically everyone. Even Sunny is the childhood friend and Izzy. And I admit, each one of these has some evidence. Even Hitch and Misty has evidence and it's gonna get more in Chapter 5. But for her I see something different. I was a big Zitch fan, but I saw something nice that could solve the giant hitch pile without the harem solution. Zip and Misty, they had a great dynamic in the beach episode. Then Pip could have hitch while Izzy and Sunny get together. Solved it. Now bombard me with your judging in the comments. I still think Zitch is the best fitting couple though. They have an amazing dynamic as detective and sheriff. A friend asked me to mention Isan and some Nebula, a ship from olden times, before she was cast into Limbo. The prince of the ancient Egyptian part of Equestria and his country's hero. We only see a bit of them together, but you gotta admit, you would fall for that beautiful Egyptian mare too, if she saved your home and your life. Like she did with Isan. But alas, time pulled them apart and they will never see each other again. We ship the main six a lot, but what about the young six? Those six young ones have literally a perfect partner in their midst. Gallus and Silverstream are perfect together, especially in the episode What Lies Beneath. Silverstream is in deep fear of the Storm King and Gallus is there to comfort her, like a good friend would. But the way she appreciates it makes me think that they could be more. Silverstream is a very affectionate character and I feel like she acts like it with everyone. But we have seen it with Gallus especially. Those two are perfect for each other and you can convince me otherwise. Then there are Yona and Sandbar, who are even canonically implied to be together. I mean, we know they had a thing for each other and she's Oyak, and I wouldn't be surprised if they stayed together. Especially after the implication in the last problem, with them coming out of the carousel boutique together. The last one is Ocellus and Smolder, who are kinda just a good fit, because they were left over after the two other ships, but I really think they could work well together. A similar dynamic to Forex and Ember, with Ocellus helping Smolder to embrace her cutesy side. They are gonna have some amazing tea parties together, 
even in the last episode, they are depicted hanging out together. Ocellus gives Smolder a tea, implying that she has come to terms with that cute side and accepts the tea willingly. Point is, I love the young six and I know that friends aren't necessarily couples, but this is what shipping is all about. Building some fun headcanons around characters you love. And everyone has their own and we have to respect that, as long as your ships stay legal. No one is being judged. Yes, I may joke about some ships being bad or not making sense, but I still see your opinion as valid, even if I prefer ships with some evidence behind it. For example, Flash, Sentry and Twilight. I personally don't like that ship. I think it's too cliche and weird as bland. He doesn't fit with Twilight. But apparently, a third of the people who vote in my polls like the ship. And I'm not gonna be toxic about it. I'm not here to start shipping wars. I'm here to have a good time with something I enjoy. And if you dare start something like that in my comments, I will interfere. Civil discussions are fine. Analytic expertise on why you think a ship works or not. But no judging. I look forward to reading the comments and hear your opinions on the ships I discussed and your own favorites once again. In this video format, I can really only discuss a few ships. But if this one does well, I might make a third part. Join my Discord if you want to discuss some more. Thanks to my patrons, especially to Mavic. And until next time for the bonus, bonifellas, and bye.